Somebody was coughing here, but not me. It's the beaver. Who eats the bark of these trunks. And he lives over there in this castle. And there is his entrance into the water. And if we go along the river for some meters, we can see the dam which they built. To keep the level of the water always equal. You can see the trees are inside the water, the level has raised. And this trunk he also cut down. And here he is. And I'm going to carve a beaver with you today here in our valley end of October. So let us start. As always I take the big knife first to make the nose of my beaver a little bit smaller. And the tail not too much, as it is quite flat. So, so let me show you again closer. So have a look. Nose. And tail. But tail too much. Then I use this knife and push it forward with the help of my left hand. This is not from carving, it happened in the kitchen, which is more dangerous than carving. Here, in the neck, if there's any neck in the back, and the flat. Here I can carve like children do when they make arrows, sticks. Like this. Here I push it forward again. There is some noise today because it is Sunday and very nice weather and so many people around. So I am sorry for the noise. And over the back and here, well I can better turn around and make it again from here and symmetrical very similar from both sides Well, let's make the ears. And I think my beaver is ready.